So today we will be reviewing the likes of Notable. It's a Markdown note-taking application that many people are looking at for its free capabilities, powerful Markdown abilities, and also just simplicity for using it. Today we're gonna to overview what it does and everything you need to know. Now, before we begin, welcome to Toolfinder. If you're new here, do hit subscribe and check out toolfinder.co if you're in the hunt for any of the Markdown or note-taking apps on the market. We'll help you to find the best one. So do jump over to there and we'll uh, get you to find the right tool for you. So Notable is an interesting one. It is free and I have yet to be able to find a pricing for it, but it primarily focuses on a good Markdown experience. Now, obviously, because it's Markdown, it's local first. So let's go into the pricing. It's free. That's as simple as it does. But where it is, it, where is it available to actually download? Well, you can download this on web, or you can get access to this on web. You can download on desktop through Windows, through Linux, and through Mac. And there is no mobile applications uh, currently. So they're obviously looking to do that. The mobile apps will to, uh, require paying for subscription to use it because of the cloud sync and end-to-end -end encryption. So that's the only reference to pricing that I've seen on the website and in the app. So this is the Mac version. And as you can see, I'm in preview mode for my note, but if I click into it, I can naturally start editing it in Markdown. So I could put here heading three, for example, and I could use all of the different things that you know about Markdown. And you can see here that if I go into this, uh, preview mode or officially that uh, sort of what other people will see you will see everything there now there is a markdown cheat sheet inside this application which means that you can quickly access stuff and there's two different modes a light mode and a dark mode now one thing you can do is import stuff from other applications so that means you can bring in things from other experiences and you can also export in html markdown and pdf which means you can move applications so you, all you do is tag it up here, which means it'll go into an area over here when you're ready. Now you can also add attachments as well. Attachments can be a range of different media, including PDF, PNG, and more, which is great for being able to manage stuff. You can pin stuff on the favorites area, which means that note will appear in this area, and you can create any new note here as well. Now you can also share the note, and there are a few different abilities when it comes to sharing a note, and you can create a link via the copy, which means you can share it publicly and it's a good way to go into state. Okay, so the other thing you can do is pin it um, inside of the different um, notebook that you're part of. Um, so that means it will go to the top and pin your items there. You can also filter it by date created as well, but of course those pin items will remain at the top. Now, if you want to select multiple notes, you can also star them, delete them, or add multiple tags to them, even pinning them as well. And you can open them in another application that is your default note-taking app on your Mac. For example, I've got Visual Studio Code here that I can open up in if I do want to as well. So there's a few additional views that you can access, like a focus mode, a full screen mode, so toggle the sidebar as well, as well as a uh, full Zen mode, which gives you a almost raw-like experience for better managing your thing. And that can be accessed from the, uh, the, the view option inside of the Mac settings. You can also zoom in and out of different pages and also modify and see shortcuts here as well, which will help you to save you time, including using templates and using multi-editors. And there's also a Markdown cheat sheet if you're fairly new to Markdown to learn some of the basics of the app and uh, how to really use Markdown and the range of formats you've got. It also has a range of deep linking abilities and some HTML for your management of notes. So all in all, Notable is a lightweight Markdown application and its pros are very simple. It's free, easy to access and works well for managing your notes in Markdown. It doesn't really do anything grandiose, but it does give you a solid experience. Now, some of the cons are that because there's no free plan, it does make you worry about how they're making money 
Um, obviously, they probably focus a lot on security. I haven't read anything detailed about the security side of stuff, but it would be good to see a premium pricing somewhere just to give you that feeling that they have a ethos or, or value of your sort of um, whether they did sort of data protection side of stuff. I always use that as a benchmark. And finally, it's not the most beautiful design. The app logo is nice, but aside from that, it's your basic markdown experience. So that was uh, Notable. If you're interested in other markdown applications, we've actually just created a full list on it with Notable included in there. So do check that out in the link in the description. And if you have any questions, please do let us know. Thank you so much and make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and we'll see you very soon. Cheerio.